Take care, Lonnie. Right on. You're going. There you go, Shane. Good man. Good man. Looking good. Nick. Looking good. When are we going to hear something? Soon, Mom. Very soon, I'm sure. If she should eat something, don't you think? Yes. Right, she should. She probably should. She's been so... Molly, oh, if you... Please don't tell me to sit down, Mrs. Horton. I can't. Listen, I... sweetie, everybody is worried about her. What's taking so long? I mean, why aren't they talking to us? They will, I'm sure, as, as soon as they know something. But I need to know now. Sweetheart, they can't tell us anything She's until they know. She's going to be okay. Oh, got oh, to. Relax, okay? We're in this together. Well, shouldn't there be some news? I mean, there should be some news by now. Tom, what is it? Did you find out anything? Well, answer me. Can, can, can I talk to her? How is Julie? I'm afraid not. But it's bad news, isn't it? I'm sorry. Chip, handle the examination. She's not... Julie has suffered some massive injuries due to the explosion. Most of them are internal. No. Oh. oh, what does that mean, Doc? I mean, tell me what you can do. There's only one thing we can do, I'm afraid. There is only one option available, and that is immediate surgery. Well, all right. If that's what it has to be. It's not that simple, Alice. Her injuries are extensive. They're very extensive. I have to be honest with you. Hell, I have to be honest with myself. All that matters is that she's going to be all right. I mean, I know, I know it's serious, but but after the operation and, and after a little time or a lot of time, she'll be fine, right? We don't know, Molly. There is just so much. Even in the best of hands, there is no guarantee that Julie will make it through the surgery at all. Close. But hey, it's all winning my book. Mm -hmm. Can't stabilize and kill with them. Yeah. I, mean, I have to admit, though, I was scared for her, Carly. I mean, you know, Kayla's strong as the next person, but if it'd gone the other way, I don't know. For Steve. And... Hey, hey, it didn't happen. That's all that matters, right? right I mean, his, right. his signs are steady. It's a little erratic, but steady. You're right. You're well, right. It's time to work that magic on a couple of other places. Yeah. Uh... He's in good hands, huh? Yeah. I'll check back with him a little later. Okay. Hey, hey, look at you. So, what are you doing here? Uh, Dr. Horton authorized me to handle the procedure. By yourself? Well, yeah. congratulations. Trial by fire, huh? Oh, what's the case? Uh, yeah, by the way, did you, were you outside? Did you hear anything about Julie Woods? Hey, Chef, you hear something about Julie? Uh, yeah, that's the procedure I'm taking care of. By yourself? You're operating on Marcus. her? Yeah, all the time to be short-handed here, huh? You know, I really don't even think we should be standing around talking. We've got work to do, right? I mean, people are counting on us, right? You got it. Right. Absolutely. My hands. Hey, 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 you know. Don't worry about the manicure. you got a job to do, right? You're going to be fine. Fine? Hell, the man's going to be great. I mean, look at those hands. He, he's a born natural. Yeah. You just trust yourself, right? Dr. Horton trusts you. Julie trusts you. Do the job. Guess it gets easier after a while, huh? No, it doesn't get easier. You just learn how to smile a little easier. That's all. Good luck, okay? Yeah, thanks. I'll need it. Oh, hey, I'm the one that needs it. Tell you what, as soon as you're through, as soon as this is all over, I'm going to take you out to dinner. Congratulations. <laughs> right. Right? Dr. Welby's here. Let's get down to business. IT office. Pulse is a week 60 and ready. Blood pressure is 100 over 60. Ooh, could be better. It's good enough. Right. Okay. Well, let's boogie, huh? All set. Engine's running. Time to roll. 
Will you be needing any other instruments, Doctor? Nope, everything looks perfect. It's as good as it's going to get. Hey, Julie. I know how strong you are, lady. You make sure everybody knows how strong you are. Well, now is the time to prove it, damn it. Be strong. Is this Julia or is she going to be all right? It's going to be fine. I know that. We all know that, don't we? Of course we do. Julia is stronger than all of us put together. You're right about that. She always has been. Yes, she's going to be fine. Don't we? Won't you come? God willing. We're doing everything we can, Alice. We've done what we can. It's in God's hands now. Oh, come on, Shane. Don't do this. Come on, now. Marcus. Mary, thanks for staying with him. How is he? Uh, Taylor. No, there's no change. It's Mary. You know, actually, there, there has been a change, Taylor. What? Listen to me, Kayla. Look at me. Now, there's been a change, but it hasn't been for the better. I mean, he, he, he came through the procedure just fine. We, we, we did the best that we could, but it doesn't deny the fact. It's in a coma, Kayla. A deep coma. Pupils are fixed. There's no response at all to externals. I mean, you know the signs. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know how hard this is for you. I mean, it's hard for me, too, but... I, I think you should be prepared. Prepared for what? Come on, Kayla, you know what. I mean, after a cardiac arrest, I mean, not to mention the shock of the explosion. Shane may not come out of this, ever. I mean, the way things look, Shane may never wake up.